go back and let you withdraw after that withdrawal day. Okay? So, that is an unfortunate situation that you will find yourself in if you don't make yourself aware of the rules, regulations, policies, and procedures. Now, we are here to help you be successful. Your instructors will help you be successful. But they cannot help you if they do not know you are having a problem. We have small classes for a reason. We want the instructors to know you. We want you to know the instructors, and we want you to feel comfortable asking that instructor for assistance. If you're having a problem in a class, tell your instructor. They will be happy to give you study tips, tell you ways to study. Uh, they have office hours, and they post those office hours, and it's in your syllabus that they will give you for that class. And you can go see them for help during those office hours. So tell them you're having a problem. Okay? Now, if in spite of all that we do to try to help you be successful, you fail a class. Okay? Or make a D in an English class, which is the same thing as failing it, for instance. You've got to register for that class again and take it. Well, okay. What if you take it again? Or you just bomb out all your classes in a semester, which we hope that doesn't happen. And you know the, the, the number one thing that you can do to keep that sort of thing from happening? Go to class. <laughs> Attend the classes for which you register. You say, well, that's a no-brainer. I'm here. I'm going to go to class. Well, we hope that you do. But you would be surprised at the number of students that do not attend the classes that they register for. They just don't go. And you will not be able to pass classes at Southern Union if you do not go to those classes. You say, well, I'll just show up on test day. Hey, we'll let you do that. We, we take attendance. We have to take attendance. We're an attendance-taking institution, as they say. Uh, we're required to do that because we give financial aid, uh, or our students get financial aid through the federal government. And But you can show up and take the test. It won't keep you from taking the test, but I dare say you're not going to be successful. So let's say that you get in the party spirit. You can party a lot around here because we're right next to Auburn. And you just don't feel like getting up at 8 o'clock and going to class, whatever. Hope that doesn't occur, just a little word of warning, but you need to attend. But let's say for whatever reason, you are not doing well, and you fail classes, and you sign up, and you fail classes again. Well, we won't allow you to do that forever. We have something called, all colleges have something called standards of progression, and you have to meet those standards of progression. If your grade point average is here falls below a 2.0, you will go on academic probation. That is a warning. It says, okay, sign up for classes the next time, do better, get your grade point average back up, and everything will be fine. But if you do not get that grade point average back up, then you will go on a one semester suspension. You say, not a problem, I'll just go to the, over here to uh, Auburn, or I'll go over to CVCC or somewhere, and I'll register, and I'll go there while I'm on suspension. No, you won't, because colleges uh, honor one another's suspensions, okay? And you would have to go through an academic appeal process to get into a college, back into this college, if you're on academic suspension, which is a lot of trouble, and you don't want to go through all that, because you have to go in and kind of plead your case say why you did, you're in the situation you're in and why you're going to do better, and they may or may not let you in. All right, so let's say that you sit out your suspension. And you come back and you enroll again, and you still don't get that grade point average up. You'll go on suspension for a year. It's just wrong to, for us to continue to take your money and let you continue to waste your money, somebody's money, okay? And plus, we have to do that because it's just uh, a rule that we have to go by, regulation. So standards of progress. So attend your classes, 
Do the assignments. Turn them in on time. Let the instructor know you're having a problem. And you meet us halfway. And if you meet us halfway, you will be successful here because that's what we want for you. We want you to be successful. Don't think, however, that you can wait until the end of a semester, end of a class, run up to the instructor like you might have been able to do at high school and say, oops, I believe I'm not doing too well in this class here I've discovered, so could I do some extra credit work? That won't happen here. There's no extra credit work. Okay? This is college. Those days are gone. That ship has sailed. So you will have to make an honest effort and you will have to attend and do your work and keep up with your work. Okay? So we want you to be successful here. We want you to be, have fun. I know I've said a lot of things that don't sound like fun, but Dean Sanders is going to tell you about some things, some ways you can have fun, and we want you to have fun. We uh, also want you to strike a balance between hard work and studying and fun. Okay? Uh, you know, college doesn't last forever. It's just a few years. Make it work for you. Remember that when your, your grades that you earn here are recorded on something called an official college transcript. And that transcript will follow you the rest of your life. If you come here and you withdraw from classes and you fail classes and you get on suspension and you say, I'm just not doing this. I just can't do this now. That may be true. If five, ten years from now you decide you want to re-enroll at a college, it could even be in another state. Say, so now I'm ready to go to college and I think I, I can do this now. You know, they're going to ask you to send your transcript from Southern Union State Community College to them. Employers often want to see transcripts too. So try to make that transcript something that you're proud of. Do your very best. You may not make an A in every class. I didn't. I've been to school a lot. I didn't make an A in every class. I was pretty successful, but I didn't make an A in every class. I hope you do. I'm not saying you cannot. I'm just saying you may not, and that's okay. Try not to make a C or a D in every class either. Okay? Strike a balance somewhere. Make that transcript something that you're proud to show to another college. And we can't show it. Dean Sandals will explain that to you. You'll have to show it, but it's there. Okay? So if you didn't do too well in high school, if you weren't happy in high school, You've got an opportunity to start all over here. Reinvent yourself. Reinvent yourself as a student. Reinvent yourself as an individual if that's what you want to do. We're here to help you. We want you to be able to reach whatever goals that you have. Remember that the decisions that you make now will affect you the rest of your life. As hard as that is for some of you who are so very young to realize uh, trust me and your parents when we tell you that the decisions you make now will affect you the rest of your life. The level of education you get may very well determine the uh, standard of living that you have, the car, the type of car you can drive, the, uh, the standard of living you can provide for your family, your career choices, all kinds of things. So that's a weighty thing to think about right now. And, but it's true. So try to remember to strike a balance between hard work and studying and fun. Try to make good decisions now. We're so very glad that you've chosen Southern Union when you had so many other colleges to choose from. We're honored by your decision to come and uh, uh, let us provide your educational experience for you. Again, we're here to help you succeed. That's what we want to do. It's what we want for you. My name is Mary White. I'm the Dean of Instruction. My office is in the Higginbotham Academic Center, which is the building to the left of this one, or to my left, your right. And uh, my door is always open to you. If you need assistance, uh, come to see me. I, li I like to see students when they're not coming to me with a problem, too. So uh, drop by and uh, let me know how you're doing and uh, just uh, enjoy your time here. I think that you will find it enjoyable. But it takes, uh, it takes a balance to be successful in college.